Hello everyone, today I'm gonna test another 50 liter fractional steel. I've got a stripping column attached, just uh, gonna run a stripping distillation first. It's gonna be stripping run, and after the stripping run, we're gonna do some fractional. And finally, after, after the fractional distillation, I'm gonna run some um, gin basket. I will try to make some aromatic alcohols with some herbs. Finally, the steel is hot and we've got some flow. Is our flow. The percentage is high right now, but only because it's the beginning of the distillation. The column is running. Our next step will be to run the resulting alcohol with fractional column and uh, with separation of all the fractions from one another. on my distillation it's fractional distillation there is no production no production not because there's no production but because the uh, my wealth sorry the wealth of the steel is is closed it's locked completely Here it is so the correctly built column is capable to utilize everything it produces Everything just coming up, up the column, getting condensed and returned back to the column. And again, there's a three kilowatt unit, it boiling inside, but there's nothing coming out. While the bypass that's running from the top of the column, bypassing the valve, the control valve and going down through the cooler, and it's open up to the atmosphere so technically all steel running at atmospheric pressure and now I'm about to open the well so I'm opening the well slowly Now you can see the production. So I started actual distillation. I let the fractions to create some sort of cue within the column, separate from each other. Now I can uh, remove the heads. The production rate adjustment is about 25 milliliters per 30 seconds so it would be equal almost to uh, 3 liters per hour this is our production rate the steel is capable to produce much more but the highest portion the biggest portion coming back returned back to the column for the reflux creation Now we're right now fractional distillation. We've got approximately 94-95% alcohol coming out of the column, running at about 3 liters per hour and aiming to get about 5 liters of alcohol. So I finished the distillation, got about 5 liters of pure alcohol, with our steel switched off and cooling down.
Now I carry on my distillation and uh, already installed the infuser and distillation column and I loaded the infuser with some composition of few herbs so gonna get something fully will test more like a chartreuse so we'll see I just loaded for the for the video with whatever I could find on my backyard the stuff that's growing there plus some any stars that I buying for infusions for distillations I like it the column getting hot so any second now we're gonna get some infused alcohol production oh it's hot it's hot here it's hot here it's hot here now waiting for the miracle to happen come on you can do it I know yes Mmm, smells good and should taste good. So I'm aiming at about three, three and a half liters of no less than 50% stuff. Yeah, I know that I'm gonna lose some alcohol back in a boiler, but I don't really care about that. I'm care about some really strong product because infused alcohol uh, when it's hit some certain percentage below 50 percent of alcohol content it's tend to become milky it's because the essential oil oils uh, in higher concentration they tend to become sort of tiny mist or droplets and it's more like emulsion emulsion within the spirit so I don't want it to look like an emulsion I want it to be clear and transparent so I will control it and make sure that I'm not get it below 50% I believe maybe 60 65 the stronger the better Okay, I carry on the distillation. I had had to halt it for a while. I didn't like the rate of the cooling of the column because uh, I'm processing really small amount and uh, boiling is quite violent in there. A lot of steam and so uh, column itself wasn't capable to sufficiently cool the alcohol that was coming out. So just in case for this sort of situation for my customer I made this extra sleeve cooling sleeve just the extra cooler on top of the alcohol conducting tube that running alcohol from the heat exchanger down to the collecting vessel so it's not necessary to use it with uh, fractional column but in case of distillation when there is a violent boiling I would suggest that this particular extra cooling device would be a good thing to go with so anyway just carrying on is our distillation Okay, I decided to collect by small portions, so don't want to spoil the good stuff in a bucket. And uh, along the distillation, I'll see if this stuff is good enough to get into the batch. If not, then it's going to be redistilled sometime later, probably. But everything is going to be good now. The boiler, the boiler is filled with pure 
purified alcohol, neutral alcohol that been produced yesterday with help of the fractional column. So there's no heads, no tails to worry about. We're running through the infusion chamber, through the gin basket, with all the herbs in there, and we're collecting everything straight away. All the goodies that otherwise would be lost along with heads. So this is the way I do. Yes, you can see percentage dropped. Now it's showing below 60%. But the stuff in the bucket is much higher in percentage. Once everything is blended, everything is going to be fine. I'm just aiming at about 50%, 55 for for the complete batch. I want it strong. Also, you can notice once the amount of alcohol decreasing within the boiler, the actual production goes down. It's not so fast anymore. The flow is sort of moderate to slow and it's gonna slow down later on. So you just have to be careful not to get any water from the boiler. And again, just want to make it clear, when I say that I'm using purified alcohol without any heads or tails, that's mean this is not just purified alcohol in the boiler. The alcohol actually diluted with water. It's plenty of water to make approximately 10-12% of alcohol content within the solution, so we're emulating the uh, concentration of the alcohol within the normal wash but this water alcohol wash wine or whatever contains no heads or tails it's just clear clear water clear alcohol with no extra fractions that we don't really need here we need just pure stuff enriched with uh, essential oils from the herbs herbs that we are using for infusion. Now I added a little bit of um, black currant leaves, green leaves and they are gonna give some green color to our product so it's gonna look more like a chartreuse. So the distillation is finished. I stopped the steel. Now I got exactly three liters of good stuff that's about 50% of alcohol content. I can increase the content by adding a little bit of pure alcohol, but I think this particular one is fine. Uh, it's not milky. Actually, it's quite easy to drink because there's a big amount of essential oils in there. It's not harsh at all because it's been distilled so many times already and all the impurities already been removed. Now I'm gonna transfer it somewhere into the glass jar, leave it with those leaves for a couple of days and, and this is it. Thank you very much.